in the office, my friend. Yeah, it was. So uh, for you guys, obviously, you you had the opportunity to, to make it through the group stage here, and it, it falls apart towards the, the very end of it. Uh, what, what do you guys just immediately after the game uh, think you can point to as to, to why Inferno, for example, slipped away? It was pretty close, and I think we played it much better than on train, but um, some individual plays, I think, was crucial, at, and they went their way this time, and uh, that's why they managed to beat or win it. Ariel, you uh, as an individual had a, a good period last year where I think you were uh, a big part of the success and had Ever since you, according to me at least, haven't been playing at the same level, have your role changed within Ents, or is it just for you a, a, a rocky period, so to speak? Uh, my role has changed as well. Like, ever since like champion joined, I'm taking the spots of X7 in most okay. of the maps. Let's say Mirage and Nuke, I'm playing X7 spots on CT side. And mm -hmm. T side, I'm always going first if we execute somewhere. But also, okay. I, I'm having a rocky period. I'm, I'm not as good as I was like a year ago. And then I don't, I don't know what is the problem exactly. I'm trying to do everything to like be as good as I was back then, but I don't know. Sure, and that's, that's all you can do, I guess. You just yeah. quickly before, uh, before I'll ask you a question here. The, the new role you're talking about, is that one that you, you, you think you fit into? Is, or is it more like you have to take the role because nobody else on the team is, is yeah, either willing I think or can do it? It's not my role exactly. Like, I'm not as good as those roles I can be like in other roles, but our team has so many good players. They are better than me at the moment at least. So I'm happy to take those positions so my teammates can like be in comfortable positions and frag. All right. No, so uh, you speak about the fact that you, you've you been going through a bit of a rocky period as an individual player, uh, and that can be said for a, a couple of the guys uh, on your team. Sonny comes to mind as someone who hasn't necessarily been playing up to the level that we know he can, and, uh, and potentially Sergey as well. So do you guys have, like, do you guys have talks within the team in terms of how you can fix it uh, as individuals, or is that more something that's separated, something you guys think about on your own? A little bit we like focus on it as a team, but mostly myself, I'm pretty much doing it all by myself or talking to my psychologists or something, but not with a team members that much. So I think we, we need to fix that and start speaking more so it may help. Do, do you feel uh, a little added pressure? Uh, as a player underneath the Ents uh, banner, underneath the Ents flag, as uh, roster changes are starting to happen, and not just within Ents, but I guess all around. I mean, when we look around, we got Astralis making moves, uh, FaZe Clan making moves. Do you feel uh, pressure as a player now that a lot of roster moves are happening? Kind of. I, I don't think, like, our teammates, is, they're going to kick me, but um, I feel pressure, like, because I'm not playing as I used to play and it really, really tilts me because it, it makes me want to like quit if I'm not playing well so it really gets on my nerves when I'm not playing good and that's that makes me nervous playing you know all the time that's something, I'm that's, that's something everyone can relate to as, as yeah. a player it's, it's it's all about just you know keep pounding keep practicing and at some point you know it'll change for you so uh, keep on working on your your death match keep on working on the team and I'm sure it'll change yeah. Anytime soon. That's what they yep. say. <laughs> that's that's say. what they do say. Yeah. Ariel, I think now would be a, a pretty crucial time for you to to address the fins. You okay with that? Yeah, sure. And finish? Yeah, go for it. No, no, tänä ei tullut nyt voittoa, mutta odotetaan sitten plastis vähän parempaa setti. There you have it. Well, thank you so much. I mean, short and sweet. And obviously, Ariel, commiserations with you. I know today wasn't the easiest of days, but I promise you that you have a bright future ahead of you, and we will be talking to you in the near future. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Ariel. Uh, yeah, so I felt that one right in my heart. What about you guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's being honest, right?
Yeah, yeah and, that, and that's and, kind of refreshing. I'm <laughs> sorry, Trace. No, no, no you're really right. Refreshing yeah. because uh, again, like the, a lot of people can can jabber off the, the standard peers as, oh yeah, no, tough period, etc. But he actually goes into more of the points that, yeah, no, it's it, the pressure that's added on makes you nervous. That affects the way you play, and it's if you don't necessarily see the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of how you're going to get out of that slump, it can be a bit of a dark vortex that you, you get stuck in. So. Uh, I think it's good to be open about it again, uh, and I think it's something that you know also can help you reflect on, on how to move forward as well. So I really appreciate the fact that he's open about it. Yeah, how open he was right there is a, a rare glimpse. Not even to you know meme on the fact that somehow the fans don't have emotion stuff. That was <laughs> yeah. raw. That was about yeah. as real as you can get it. And then as long as I've been doing stuff around the camera, that is about as real as it comes right there. Let's go ahead and continue down this vortex that you talk about though, and that being Group D. In fact, this Group D is sort of wrapped up, isn't it, right? I mean, we've, we've only